all the women who lost their male partners to red pill content front and center please because i want to know what happened hey beautiful people how you are doing today it's your girl destiny here and welcome to my channel how you are doing hope you guys are doing fantastic so this video we want to talk about red pill um content and how red pill content has affected a lot of relationships so your sister asked this question that women should share their story of how red pill content has changed their partner and how red pill content um just ended their relationship with your partner we all know that this whole era of red p content and even women centering themselves is really affecting a lot of relationship because people are having this conversation talking about the red p content some men really do believe it and some men took it and ran with it there was a time that people were buying courses from andrew tate and all that going to this the college or university of something like that and even the fresh and fit so there are a lot of men that really believe that and some of these men when this red pig content was really even um what's his name um what's his name the one that died oh god i can't even remember his name now why can i have to bet myself um what's his name what like my brain is just frozen i can't even remember him the one that always rates women uh, the one that uh, okay you guys know what i'm talking about okay Mind me down in the comment section. We guys know when it came, how every like a lot of men were like, yeah, yeah, women think they're all that, da 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 da. So this is is asking the question like, red pig content. How did red pig content affected your relationship and the person you're with? That women should share their story, and women are out here sharing their story and how red pig content ended their relationship and changed the man they thought they know. Anyway, guys, I also want to know your own thought about this conversation down in the comment section. If you were in a relationship and you felt like red pig content was one of the things that actually affected your relationship or get your man then or your man now to switch up on you and all that or red pig content was something that made your man even a better man because sometimes it doesn't even go always go the negative way sometimes it goes the positive way so I want to know your own thought and your own story down in the comment section but before we go here people share their story and this is the ask this question please if you haven't subscribed to the channel what did I do to you Go ahead and smash the subscribe button down there and click the notification bell so you'll be notified once i upload videos i post videos every single day and you don't want to miss out on the conversation we're having here on this channel okay so go ahead and do that so with that all said guys let's go check out this video where are all the women who lost their male partners to red pill content front and center please because i want to know what happened I want to know how he started off when y'all got together and how red pill content changed him and how the partnership ended what did that look like? And I also want to know how did it feel to lose somebody you thought you knew to something as trivial and shallow as red pill content? Where are all the women who lost their male partners to red pill content? Front and center, please. I wouldn't say I lost him because I know exactly where he went. <laughs> when all that stuff started coming out and also when Trump won the election and got more popular, but on a different stage this time, it was like the man who I had initially gotten together with and married, uh, well, <clears throat> suddenly he was allowed to say the quiet parts that he'd been thinking the whole time out loud. All that stuff normalized being crazy, being misogynistic, being awful, because it was so popular as well. A lot of men, my ex-husband included, started to think that it was okay so we're divorced now where are all the women who lost their male partners to red pill content front and center please oh my god story time because this is literally me so me and my current boyfriend because yes we are still together but let me cook let me tell the story we got together four years ago and when we first got y'all know i struggle to talk right well when me and my first I struggle real bad. When me and my boyfriend first got together four years ago, he was a totally different guy, even than like the guy he is today. He had just gone through some stuff. He was working on himself. And honestly, like he was an easy guy to fall for, like successful, had his own house, you know, the works. But like slowly over the course of the time we were together, I noticed like this change in his behavior and he slowly kind of started to devolve. Like he wasn't treating me the same way. We didn't talk as much. And I honestly didn't enjoy being around him. Like I didn't like him. But like, right when I started getting to a breaking point, I noticed one day, like I heard on his phone, Andrew, Mr. Andrew. Okay. 
and it all clicks. Like it all started making sense. I was like, okay, this is this is gonna be an uphill battle. And I'm not gonna lie, we fought like daily for a long time. It was a lot of fighting, but eventually I realized like he was hurting, and I had to really meet him where he was and try empathy instead of anger and judgment. And it was it was very hard for me to do. And I'm not even gonna sit here and act like it's something that is even worth doing with everybody, but I realized that he was a really good person and he was worth doing that with. So like your relationship doesn't have to fall apart. It just took, I'm not gonna lie, like years, truly, like just as much time as we had spent together before that, we spent almost that same amount of time working on our relationship after that. But I also feel like that's why it's so important to realize that Andrew Tate is the only person talking to these men. And if you want a different result, you have to talk to that man. And since we're talking about red pill content, I want a lot of women who have lost their man to the red pill content. I want y'all to understand that nine times out of 10, when guys get engrossed in that shit, and I'm talking about the negativity of it, the, the women haters and the, the Andrew Tate's like, at a certain point, we have to understand Andrew Tate was playing a character and he was overblowing it on purpose. It wasn't like, bro, 90% of that shit he was doing and saying wasn't even real. You hear people talk about him like behind the scenes, they're like, he's not like that, relax. Because it was a character. But with all that being said, y'all have to understand that nine times out of 10 when guys get fully engrossed in that, they hit an age where their feelings were no longer being validated by anyone. So, for example, they feel like, well, if she asked me for something, I have to say yes because I can't say no to her. If I say no, I feel like I'm gonna lose my girl. Unfortunately, in a lot of situations, that's true. There's a lot of guys walking around here, paying women's bills, getting her gifts. She hints toward wanting her nails done. He's sending money and all that. And y'all think, oh, he just like taking care of me. No! He's afraid to lose you if he doesn't do that shit. Almost every man has been in a situation where he felt like, damn, if I don't give this girl this or do this and that, She's going to have one less reason to want to be around me. And there's a lot of women who play that game. They play that game. They, they make a man feel like, well, if you ain't going to do it for me, someone else will. Type shit. And so they, they, they hear a Red Pill podcast, a clip on Reels or TikTok or whatever. They hear a guy looking like me saying, bro, if she's making you feel like less because you don't want to pay for her bills, leave her start telling her no start seeing if she really like you for you and your personality and everything you bring to the table aside from money and then they start doing it and the women get upset because they can no longer benefit from this puppet that they've created now these women online talking about i lost my man the red pill podcast and shit no you didn't no you didn't somebody online finally told him bro what you going through a lot of men are going through we just don't sit around in circles and cry about it to other men and this is how you fix it and in the midst of them fixing it you got your bounced that's all that's happening where are all the women who lost their male partners to red pill content front and center please so i lost a boyfriend and my brother to red pill content for basically the same reason it started off with them being like inspired by how empowered I am and how ambitious and that I want to like do things and tackle things and I can like plan things out and I know how to like organize things. Then turned that my personality and all the things that they loved about me um, suddenly emasculated them and that I am ruining all of men based on my expectations of them. And the early signs I got of this was I low-key made a joke about the Reddit threads and they got upset and had some few choice words on it and I started noticing that that is the bulk of the content that they ingest online. Like even like it's either YouTube with their <laughs> red pill content, it's like the YouTube of the bro podcast or it's just reddit threads. There's no other social media content, there's no other community. They just got like swirled. And my brother did that for like as a response to the sibling rivalry that we that my parents kind of sort of orchestrated. Like my brother had a hard time with like school and stuff and that just came super easy for me. And as I was getting accomplishments, it was just like, why can't you do accomplishments to him? So he kind of did the red pill thing because <laughs> he knew that was exactly what I didn't view and agree with. Like 
when I found out I couldn't eat meat anymore because my body just literally can't eat it and I can't have like, you know, milk anymore because I'm lactose intolerant, he would, on the reverse side, go ham and eat only burgers and only cheese. And he did that for just about everything. So now his red pill content is mixed with Christianity because he knows that I'm not and I lean to more of like a spiritual, like native universe kind of thing. And it's so heartbreaking because <laughs> what they once celebrated and loved about you, they're now like viciously for absolutely no reason. And then on top of that, like, it's, it's like all the things that they start loving and enjoying and believing in are all, like, attacks against you. Like, I'm a very, like, verbal, like, I'm not a quiet person. I'll tell you when I'm mad at you. I'll tell you that, you know, what I think that you said is misogynistic and it hurts my feelings. Like, I'm very blunt about that. And so then when they started doing it more and more, it just pissed me off more and more, and then turn around and be like, well, this is my passions, this is my hobbies, and you have to respect and support them, like, just like I respect your stupid little cards, you know, kind of thing. It hurts. It hurts. And it hurts when you're like, what the f just happened to you in like a matter of months? You're a completely different person. And me saying that men need to step up and stop being such D-bags to women and women need to stop allowing men to be such weaponized and competent D-bags is triggering for them and makes them think that women control the world enough already and that we need to be put into our place and that I should be so grateful for the shit that I get already. I don't know, there's something like if that happens to someone that you love and that you cherish, you know, then like, how can you trust any stranger on the street, you know, like, are you going to talk to them and, you know, they're going to transform into some f***ing person that you don't even recognize in a span of a couple of months because they're such a weak, shallow person that they need to cling on to anything that it's the very thing that makes them feel threatened and emasculated. Women who lost their male partners to red pill content because I want to know what happened. Yeah, I'm right here. I lost one of the loves of my life, my, one of my best friends, had known him over 20 years since before we were born to red pill content, and I want to talk about it today. I do think it's important to educate people and keep them aware of this. It was like a five, ten year long process, so strap in. I think one of the hardest parts wasn't accepting losing him, but having to accept that like this person, these ideologies were inside him the whole time. So his name was Jared. We grew up on streets near each other, and our families knew each other before we were born because we were all homeschooled. So obviously when we were little, I had a big old crush on him because he was the only boy my age I had ever spoken to, but he had no interest in me because he was a little kid. So for a lot of the middle years, he goes back into school. We don't talk. He's in the grade above me. But once we get into high school, we actually reconnect somehow, and I forget how, but I'm a total nerd in high school, and he is like a hockey jock, but he was always a really sweet kid. So for a while, I believed him when he swore his hockey friends must have stolen his phone in the locker room and sent this message to me on Snapchat that said, why don't you make yourself useful and send over a pick and when I was like this is really random like this doesn't seem like even your verbiage what's going on dude they blocked me on everything on his phone so we didn't talk for several years after that and I found it a little bit weird that like dude we were talking every single day and you didn't even think to look me up and notice I wasn't even in your phone anymore but anyways he gets dumped by a girl who absolutely shatters his heart on college and we actually reconnect because we match on tinder and at this point, he is emo, right? He has all the bracelets. He listens to heavy metal. He is very atheist. He has a lot of Satan stars and whatnot. He is the furthest point in the universe from the typical red pill boy. So when he's back in town, we actually go on some dates and he gets really sick. So I bring him over some soup and like some cookies that my grandma, who I was living with at the time, homemade. And we have some really cute, like cuddling, watching TV, nothing else sort of dates. And it was just like old times. And then after that, he actually kind of rejects me by ghosting me a little bit, but he wants to remain friends. And I'm fine with that because we were friends our whole life. And the more I get to know about him in that point, the more I realize it's probably for the best because he's in a lot of therapy at that point, which is very important because he has such bad anxiety and depression and things like that, that he can't even leave his home to go out in public. And also he's still obsessed with this girl who has blocked him on everything and he won't tell me why. But one day he says he found her address and he wants to write her a letter because because he thinks it'll be super duper romantic and win her back. He had this tendency to do that, right? Like romanticize all of his actions when from the outside, like this girl has blocked you on everything. She has told you not to contact her and now you're tracking down her address. And I tried to explain to him that that's kind of terrifying behavior, but I don't think he listened to me. I do think he sent the letter and I don't think anything ever came of it. 
But at this point, he decides he needs to completely change his life. I think his therapist suggested getting into working out, which is the beginning of the slippery slope. So again, he's still in college, living mostly in his parents' basement. He's spending thousands of dollars now on gym equipment and getting really into working out and watching like male motivational videos to which I believe around this time too he decides that he doesn't need to go to therapy anymore and I was like no you still can't really leave your home dude and you have a lot of issues like you definitely are not done with that but again he thinks that after like a short period of time he's just completed therapy and around this time a couple of his friends ask how we reconnected too because it's an it's a question to ask and I jokingly I'm like well we went on a couple dates and Jared rejected me and he insists that never happened like he refuses to like he denies it to his core that he ever rejected me I was like it's fine it's funny and I'm fine with it but anyways we're seeing other people we're just friends and around this time is when I met basement Eric the one who me and tried to kidnap me and keep me locked in his basement right so that causes a lot of damage and my brain doesn't trust me to be around boys anymore so eventually I have to explain to Jared like why I'm always sitting on the opposite side of the room or not really seeing him anymore and he decides again in his brain which he has made himself out to be a good person in this scenario and coming from a good place that he can fix me actually because you just didn't get hugged enough as a child and you aren't shown the proper amount of affection so he starts forcing me to like cuddle with him and hug him even when I tell him no and to stop and from all the working out he's becoming a very large man that I can't fight anymore and so it's starting to get scary when he doesn't listen to me and he also starts making this frequent joke that we need to go out on like formal friend dates because like I just deserve to be loved and shown love which again I believe came from a good place but I was like no like I've been on real dates like I've been on fine dates it's fine I've been on a good date before like I love you dude but you also still refuse to leave your home to go to most places so it wouldn't work out anyways so because his behavior towards me is actually making my issues worse at the time I'm in a lot of intensive therapy myself for this I have to distance myself or make sure that his other friends are around whenever we're hanging out because he doesn't do any of this stuff in front of his other friends. And an interesting note is now that he's moved home after college, instead of hanging out with his more left friends from college, he's just hanging out with his high school friends that all are on the right. And that starts to really speed up his change in behavior. And around this time, we're both dating and seeing other people, and he never really likes any of my partners, which is fair. I had a lot of duds. But the difference is every time I had a boyfriend, I really wanted to connect him with Jared. Like, I wanted them to be friends, because isn't that the goal? He finds a partner, I find a partner, you and your best friend, like, we all live happily ever after together. But no, because whenever he got a girlfriend, I was never allowed to meet her, no matter how many times I begged and asked. And also, every time he got a girlfriend, of course, she was blonde, my height, and he kind of stopped talking to me when he was dating them or at least he stopped forcing me to cuddle him all the time which was a win for me also the cuddling stuff started again shortly after I started hanging out with him more but I was able to deal with it then because it had time had passed he'd also slowly started using like alpha male beta male lingo like he's hanging out with his gym friends 24 7 they have daily fitness eating you know they have everything mapped out on an excel spreadsheet they're constantly on the grind. He's constantly, you know, he's leaning into alpha, beta, what, all that terminology. I'm starting to get increasingly worried. And then he gets a new girlfriend. And this girlfriend is super religious, super conservative, right? And all of a sudden, out of the blue, Jared suddenly is talking about being religious and going to church. And he's going and playing tennis and doing all these things that I've never heard of him doing before. And he's starting to say some of the concerning things he would just let slip when he was one-on-one -on -one with me out loud now. I remember our very last FaceTime. He FaceTimed me after he was playing tennis with his girlfriend. I was talking about a date I had gone on, but we didn't really click. And he starts going like, you need a beta male because you have like an alpha energy. See, my I myself, I'm an alpha male. So I need like a beta housewife. It's like, I'm just stunned by everything that's coming out of his mouth all of a sudden. And then at some point, I kind of must have made the comment that I was like a little bit concerned about all the conservatives and the things he's been hanging around for him to say this. And he utters the phrase, well, technically, like, voting conservative is the most alpha male thing you can do, right? Because, like, you're voting to suppress minorities and women. You're, you're maintaining your seat at the top. And in that singular moment, all hope in my body left, and I disconnected from the conversation entirely. Did not try to continue to engage. I just made a natural exit. Because also, sir, you are the furthest thing from an alpha male I've ever met. Like, you can barely leave the house, and now this girl has entirely changed your personality. And, and two, you are Asian. Now, you are half Asian, but if a, if a white, right male looked at you, he would say you are Asian. You are the minority that you are saying you're voting to suppress, sir.
but I just let it go. I didn't say any of that because I knew in that moment he was too far gone. After that, I no longer took any of his texts and phone calls and I finally reached out to one of his other girl friends to ask if he had ever done any of this to her because he always insisted to me like cuddling and whatnot is just what friends do. Like it's totally normal. She said that was weird. She said that she had never seen him act that way to her before. Like, I don't know why, but he was only doing this stuff to me. After I got that confirmation, I sat down and I wrote a thick Google Doc text to send to him. To be very clear as to why I am cutting communication with him, I am terrified of him. I am terrified of his behavior, the man he has grown into. I am disappointed. I lost my best friend and he's become this person I don't even recognize or feel safe around anymore. I have to just accept that that boy that I shared so much of my life with that I loved is completely gone. I'm never going to get him back and I think about him all the time and I feel like a part of me is just gone and I'm so sorry that I can't let you back. But if you see this, I love you and I really hope that you get better. I apologize that I couldn't really finish the story, but luckily that's pretty much the end of it. And you guys finally found out, like, the one thing I can't talk about very easily. But also, look, I bought new plants. So yay, new plants. Replace men with plants. I don't know why that gets chuckled me but hey. Because people are really going through I want to know your own take about the red P and how the red P destroy relationship, build relationship. I want to know your own take on this, how the time where the red pill content was really heavy and men were saying the quiet part loud for me. I feel like that's just where just, okay, where men were saying the quiet part out. Your own side of the story. If you're a man, if you're a woman, you be in a relationship at that time with a man that was consuming those type of content. What is your story? What are your thoughts? I'd love to know your own take down in the comment section. But please, you guys know how we do it here. Here on this channel, we share our thoughts we are allowed to have conversation we're here to have a conversation so go ahead and share your thoughts but please keep it respectful as always yeah on the channel we're allowed to disagree but do it in a respectful way so go ahead and share your thoughts love to know your own take for me i feel like the right p content were content that the men that resonated a lot with those type of content were men that they've been thinking about these things for the longest time in their head and when they hear other people other men talk about this and how the men will address issues like that they're just like yes yes i feel like those are the men that really were drawn into it and i also feel like a lot of those red p content creators they were just performing a lot of them were performing i don't know why i can't why is this man name not coming to my head i've been thinking about it since i was reacting to the video but i still can't you guys know the black man uh, i don't know why i can get him uh, What's this? Ah, oh, that all this. Uh, you guys know how he like why can't I, why can't his name is not coming into my head right now, but we also how we talk down on women and all that, and we also how he died. He was with a woman, but these are men that would tell you that. So even Andrew Tay, even Fresh and Feet, a couple of months ago, Fresh and Feet, one of them was in the controversy where he impregnated the girl and was asking the girl to get rid of the pregnancy because da 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 you guys see a lot of red p content creators are performers they are just performing they are just acting on it and all that and some a lot of these men that consume this type of content they don't even realize it they go ahead because that's what they've been thinking in their head and that's what their head has been processing all this why all this years and they wanted to say this thing out so bad they just like tap into it and then Things start going wrong in their relationship it's almost like even me i like i always said i've always been that child that i've always questioned things around me and all that but when i just start seeing other content creators speak about the relationship marriage having children i was just like oh, i'm not alone and um, you get it so that effect can really be very very and that's why i like having the conversation we have here on this channel because Sometimes a lot of people are thinking of these things, but they can't say it out loud because of their society, their culture, their environment, and how society has leveled things up. But now you hear somebody share their story, somebody knowing the just And I feel like that's what happened to a lot of Red P, but a lot of them didn't realize that it was, it was all down into the patriotic. It's all about the male ego and all that. A lot of them didn't realize how the ripple effect because when the red pig contest start blowing up women start getting a game women start centering themselves and for me there's a part of me that just feel like i'm kind of grateful for the red pig content because that has made women to actually speak up we start communicating more with ourselves when i start getting the idea and not knowing that you know what we need to start centering ourselves 
and not center men because this man this is how they really think and the truth is that most of this recipe are some of the things that a lot of these men think in their head but now they see the forum to actually say it out loud so i feel like i kind of i kind of like okay that kind of helped us women to start coming together start talking and start realizing that we need to center ourselves and for that i kind of like okay that is a plus okay so anyway guys i love to know your own take down in the comment section about this red pea content and how it has affected relationship i like to know your own take down in the comment section okay but please keep it respectful as always go on and share this video with someone that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here we have banging conversation so go ahead and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and join in the conversation and that'll be you supporting this channel and this girl here so go ahead and do that subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video do see